I did a video about the new Tesla Model 3 performance, which was meant to be a plaid version with two motors. But now we've found out some more information about the Model 3 Ludicrous. Apparently, that's what it's going to be called. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Model 3 performance. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Model 3 performance. A lot of people say uh, it's not exciting to go that fast. It doesn't thrill them. I disagree. I love this. I love the fact that you can get a relatively affordable electric car that just looks like a normal, just a normal car. It doesn't look really all that out of the ordinary. There's no big wings hanging off it to try and scream at you. Look how fast I am. Look at the stickers on my car. Look how loud my car is. Look at how big the exhaust is. Look, it's massive. It's massive. It's got none of that. It doesn't say, look at me. It just goes insanely fast without the need to yell at everyone, look how fast I am. It's the perfect sleeper car, if you ask me. But Tesla said, you know what? That's not enough. People need more, or at least... They need the option of more. Now, this not, might not be your cup of tea, but personally, I have to say, I get a bit excited when I hear this sort of thing. And I think, you know what? There's no real reason now to get a performance car that isn't electric. Now, put it this way. The Tesla Model 3 Performance is one of the fastest cars ever tested around the Top Gear test track. And they've tested, what, like hundreds of cars? That's the Model 3 Performance. Imagine how good this version will be with its upgraded brakes and more power. It's going to be insane. No, it's not going to be insane. It's going to be ludicrous. Anyway, why do we think it's going to be called ludicrous? Because Tesla haven't actually officially revealed this title. There is actually a reason why. Now, first of all, there is currently no Model 3 performance that you can buy unless you want to buy a used one or an inventory stock model, if you live in a country where they, you can get that. But currently, you can't buy the Model 3 Performance or the Model 3 Ludicrous. But that should change pretty soon. How do we know? Well, plans for a new flagship Tesla Model 3 have been revealed in a Dutch vehicle certification document listing a new performance variant with mechanical changes, more power from its motors, and that was revealed late last month, but we now have some more information. Now, the Kilowatts has uncovered a parts catalog for the updated Model 3 showing a new badge. This new badge led some people to believe it would be called Plaid, but if you have a closer look at the badge, it's not a Plaid badge. It's actually a ludicrous badge. The other things that we saw is new wheels, new brakes, and new suspension. One really cool thing I liked about it is that for the wheels, you don't need to go 21 inch. Tesla actually have a 19 inch. You can get 19 inch wheels for the Model 3 Performance or the Model 3 Ludicrous. I think that's a really cool feature because then you gotta get more range from the car. In my opinion, that's definitely worth going for. You're probably gonna get 10% more range if you go from 21 inch wheels down to 19 inch wheels. Pretty good reason to do so. There's really no reason to want 21s other than the, the looks. I don't think they look good, but a lot of people do anyway. Moving on, some on social media believe the plaid badge will be used, but it looks like it won't be plaid. It will be ludicrous because the badge is not a plaid badge. It's actually a ludicrous badge. The pattern shown on the badge is the effect seen in the 1987 movie Spaceballs, of which Elon Musk is known, of course, to be a fan. And he has all these inside jokes. I don't really get them because I've never seen the movie. I probably should watch it. When the spaceship in the film approaches ludicrous speed, this is said to be faster than light. However, the ludicrous speed was the naming inspiration for the rapid acceleration. Uh, basically, it was the name for the previous, right? The 100D, it was called ludicrous. So the previous Plaid vehicle before the Plaid was called ludicrous. And now we have, of course, the Plaid. So it appears to me as though Tesla will reprise the ludicrous name for the Model 3 performance. Well, not the Model 3 performance, but a better version of the Model 3 performance. And remember, it would make sense to do so because they don't want to make the Model 3 performance or the Model 3 ludicrous faster than the Plaid. So I believe what will happen is they're putting in two motors. They're putting in the 
motor in the rear from the Model 3 Plaid. So it's going to be a dual motor, not a tri-motor like the Plaid, which will mean it won't be as fast as the Plaid, but it will be nearly as fast because it's a much, well, a fair bit lighter than the Model S. So why do we think it'll be called Ludicrous? Well, because in the film, shortly after the spacecraft reaches Ludicrous speed, the view from the cockpit turns to Plaid. A graphic appears on an emblem on the back of some Tesla Model S Plaid cars showing the graphic from basically from the movie, right? But the badge that we can see in these kind of sneak images is actually the Ludicrous speed graphic from the movie. So it appears as though it will be the Model 3 Ludicrous. In announcing plans for the Model S Plaid in 2019, Elon Musk said on Twitter, the only thing beyond Ludicrous is Plaid. The Dutch certification document shows the updated performance or ludicrous will continue with dual electric motors, not the three motors of the larger 761 kilowatt or 1,100 horsepower Tesla Model S Plaid. So it's probably going to have around about 900 horsepower. Still a hell of a lot of power. There's been reports out of China that a power boost for the updated model compared to the existing 393 kilowatt or 500 horsepower plus model that does 3.3 seconds from zero to 100 or zero to 62 miles an hour is going to be coming out very, very soon. It's possible the new model could still be called performance, but it looks to me by the fact they've put the ludicrous badge there on the back that it will in fact be called Tesla Model 3 ludicrous. And this would probably revive a bit of interest in the Model 3 as well. I think it's a good marketing, good idea. In addition to the badge though, some other things are coming. There are new 20 inch alloy wheels. There's also wheels called, um, there are new 20 inch alloy wheels, which come in either black or silver, and they are apparently called warp. They do look kind of warped. Plus there are some 19 inch black and silver wheel options that are different to the 19 inch Nova alloy wheels that we already know about. What else has changed? Well, apparently, the Model 3 Performance right now has always used 20-inch wheels. So Tesla basically giving you the option of having 19s. However, you can also get a 0G design track package and listed in the parts catalog that was discovered are sport brake calipers, so better brakes, brake pads, improved pads, and different springs, probably stiffer springs. Upgraded brakes and lowered suspension have, of course, been part of the Model 3 performance now for quite a while. So it does appear though that those have been changed. So they're different to the existing pads, suspension, and brakes of the current Model 3 performance. Now there's one other change. There's also a carbon lip spoiler. So there's a spoiler on the rear of the vehicle that basically denotes the high performance version and that's made out of carbon fiber. Unfortunately, we have absolutely no idea when it's coming to market. Tesla haven't revealed the dates. Um, really, it's anyone's guess at this point in time. If someone tells you they know when it's coming, well, truth is they don't. But we could always make a guess. My guess would be we're going to see these available for sale in around about three months. I'll go with 90 days, three months. What are your thoughts on this? Is this the kind of thing that interests you or is this boring? Is this this kind of power? exciting to people. I, I don't know. I mean, I know everyone's not like me. Not everyone is really into speed and likes that thrill of going fast, but it, it's more than that for me. It's the fact that this just lays the smack down to cars that are big, loud, and noisy, generally powered by V8s, but now they're actually slow in comparison. If you think about it, the existing model does 3.3 seconds, zero to 62 miles an hour, zero to 100. How fast will this be? 2.8, 2.7? That's as fast as pretty much any Ferrari you can buy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.